Hi, and welcome to the first in a new series of Caveo product highlight videos. My name is Neil Kostecki. I'm the Senior Product Manager on the Salesforce line of business, and I'm joined by... Andre. I'm a Senior Software Developer at Caveo. Thanks. Today, we're here to talk to you about the Caveo case deflection component. But first, before we do that, I'd like to just cover some of the new features and highlights in our new Spring 19 release. So we're focused on more lightning, new use cases, and easier configuration. It's really about providing a ton of value in this release. One thing we're really excited about is our Caveo for Einstein Bots beta. We're really interested to hear what you have to say about it, and you'll hear more from us from that. You'll find all of our new features available on our Caveo Cloud new features page. You can read more and find documentation about them. And if you're interested to try out the new release, be sure to go to the Salesforce App Exchange and download the new package. Let's take a look at this new great feature. So you can see here we're in our Lightning community. I'm going to go ahead and add the Caveo case deflection component. So let me just drag this into the community here and put it right next to the contact support form. I'm going to give it a name of Neil's case deflection. And we're going to go ahead and preview as an authenticated user. And now with a couple clicks, you see I can actually create a search page. So here we are with our case deflection search page. And you can see now I can go ahead and fill out the form on the left. I'm going to choose specialized. I'll say it's a gear issue and I'm having issue uh, with tires. And I'll say maybe uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to switch to tubeless. So you see we get results on the right side here automatically. Uh, I'm going to go ahead into our interface editor and show you how we can easily edit this interface. So you can see here we've got the ability to easily drag and drop things like tabs, facets. Uh, I can also edit the actual results. So you can see I can go in and change the layout of the way this result looks. Um, what I'm going to do is actually just flip over into our code view. I'm going to drop some code in to show a nicer example um, a little quick, more quickly. So you can see now uh, we've got some you know, nice, rich YouTube video thumbnails. We've got our, you know, our design is a little more uh, user-friendly. And I'm going to go and save that. And we'll go back to our view here. So you can see now I've got my results showing up. I'm just going to edit my query here so we can see we've got definitely a much more rich view. But what we're not seeing here is maybe the, uh, the types of results that we'd expect to be in context of the type value, which I've chosen gear. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it to Andre, who's going to go ahead and show us how we can leverage the type value in the pipeline. Thanks, Neil. So if we go to our form here and change the value, we'll see that a new query will be sent and that it will contain the context. So we have here our field type with value gear. I'll show you how we can use that field to influence your result. In the old days, you had to actually create code to do that, but right now we can do it just by utilizing the Covio platform. In the platform, you have a section that is called ranking expression. A ranking expression is just an expression that you can use to boost certain type of results. By adding a rule, we can select the bike tech and mountain biking sources. Those sources contain YouTube videos. We can modify the uh, modifier by 50 and then add a rule. Right now, this rule will be applied to everything. So we want to change that. By going into more and then select a condition, we want to search for gear and select the context type is gear. Select condition. If we go back to our page and do the same thing, a new query, we can see that our results are now showing YouTube videos. Great. Thanks, Andre. If you're interested to find out more about our Spring 19 release, check the links in the description to find out more. Thanks for watching.